So quickly in the code, I still initialized TinyMC. I had the suggested edits uh, in the plugin list. I had it to my toolbar also. And the only real thing that I really have to do is the suggested edit model here. I need to provide a model. I need to provide a JSON model of all the edition that were done before. So again, I should retrieve this from the database. Here, I'm faking a database. So I changed the code a little bit to give you another way to fake it. But here I have my model.json, and it's basically a JSON schema that show like, hey, who did what, who had like some feedback, what are the changes that were done. It's just a JSON file with all the suggested that you've seen in the script. So I just loaded that, provided the model. So with my JSON that I load inside my model, I provide it to TinyMC so it knows what to load. Here, there's another feature where I gave myself full access, but depending on your users, they can have feedback access. So they cannot like accept or reject suggestion, but they can leave feedback. And some people that can just read, so they cannot even have any feedback to it. There is also other option that you can do. Lastly, I still fetch the user list because I still need my user list to associate the suggested it with some of the users. Here I did it another way so you can see also another way to do it. So I just put inline code to fetch the user again from, you know, my fake user API.